But guys, never mind that shit. Because Joe Gacy is next. I thought we cancelled him. Yeah. We cancelled him. Oh boy. Yeah, I forgot to start the show off by going, uh, Brayden Harrington here with the Lil little woke, woke boy. boy on the right. <laughs> YouTube.com slash up next. Shout out Dickie Bird. He's uh, compiled some of our show clips. Every week he finds clips of the shows of the topics we talk about and he clips them. Well, he clipped one of us talking about Joe Gacy and his woke gimmick yes. from last week. And then Fox News did a story on WWE and their new woke heel character. And well, if anyone were to have gone and searched Joe Gacy, for some reason, that little video clip of us showed up on YouTube. So a lot of first time long times <laughs> showed up on our YouTube comments, oh, yeah. which were just great. Apparently, you're a snowflake. Oh, I, melting away from the amount of tears rolling down my eyes right now. Yeah, because yeah. they they made a woke character in the WWE. I also don't think anyone actually watched the video. Yeah, we thought <laughs> like like I don't I don't remember I remember being a bit confused. I don't remember necessarily not, like... Yeah. Yeah, not being happy with it or wanting to cancel it. I think... I don't think either of us said at any point, oh, no, you can't do this. I think a lot of these uh, right-wingers were listening to you. (laughs) I think they were listening to you and maybe because we were complaining about NXT having way too many of these new gimmicks that were just throwing darts at a board and picking one using these, like buzzwords in all of their their kind of promos but um i i mean they didn't say anything bad about me (laughs) because maybe i maybe i'm gonna love this character it is very interesting though to see uh just from like our youtube we we have clips of everything we have like clips of us talking about uh omega and brian we have clips talking about the the dark side of the ring and not none of these have had any as many views as this joe gacy clip like, it's one of our most popular videos. Wow. Uh, obviously, hit a nerve or the or getting into the mainstream media, this character, um, quite quite interesting. Yeah, because I, I, feel like, I feel like these people didn't understand what we were kind of saying is like, of course they're going to do this. They've done um, straight edge or vegan ki- gimmicks or yeah. characters that are, of course, the bad guy. Like, no, you eat meat, you're a sicko. So it's such a WWE like Absolutely. thing. Yeah. Oh, a woke... Like character, annoying character. Oh, I want, I want equality and a safe working space. environment. Yeah, yeah. Like boo. Yeah. So it's like, oh, of course they're gonna do this. But at the same time, I'm like, yeah, I want to see how far you take this mm. before you get canceled. Before you gotta, you know, what was it, Muhammad Hassan, UPN? They were like, nope, absolutely yeah. not. Undertaker's gotta kill him. So just like. What's going to happen with this character? There's only so far it can go. They're saying NXT 2.0 is supposed to be this new edgier char- you know, landscape or, or yeah. atmosphere here in the show. Well, then what's this character going to do next? Because they say he's not canceled. He, you, have, you have not canceled him, people, no matter what, you snowflakes. But what, what is there to cancel? People want to cancel no, everything. But I don't understand what's 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 wrong with it. Like right. to be cancelled. Like what's yeah? Because you're making fun of a woke the, person. Yeah, I, I find it. I I do find it. Even this week, I think this gimmick has legs, but I do find it a bit confusing as well. Yeah. Well, my issue is like then he's gonna start. He he's a bad guy. Yeah. And that's a that's again people. It's wrestling, so it's such a strong blur of real and fake mm-hmm. so are is this guy gonna start saying things that really might get people's attention or really start bothering people mm. there's a lot of things going on in the world in 2021 involving this you know left right agendas on either side and people being woke and 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 snowflakes and or all this shit so what i'm saying is they could be treading some water but why not? Look at the traction it got. Yeah, I kind of recap the thing, what he says. Yeah, because I about- kind of want to give my thoughts afterwards. Because, um, because like, because yeah. it's like, is he gonna come out and is he gonna say like, oh, we need a union in wrestling? Oh, uh, I gotta support 
like different what is he gonna support, start supporting in support groups is he gonna like where does this go with with the uh, like yeah it's very interesting well Joe Gacy shows up he comes down he's already in the ring he's in a in the middle of the ring he's in a chair he's and a he, gray shirt in his gray shirt and he says ladies and gentlemen well actually no it's a, it's a it's a that's how he's introduced ladies and gentlemen Joe Gacy he says back by popular demand and not by popular opinion I'm still here, and this is still a safe space. No, I haven't been canceled. I've made a bigger impact than the likes of Champa, Roderick Strong, or even Braun Breaker. People are talking about Joe Gacy. He's not, he's he's not, not wrong. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. He says, and I'm only using my words. I don't even throw a single punch. Uh, he uses the word obsolete somewhere in there. He also says, were you triggered? Did I trigger you? All I saw was you triggered people. Well, Joe Gacy is inclusive. <laughs> he says, we can resolve things with a simple mission and resolution. No one person can change the world. But I am here to usher in the new world and the new normal. I don't want to take too much of your time. We got a match coming up later, but... Thank you for your open minds. Okay, I think I think he's very good with his delivery, and I definitely think this gimmick has legs. My issue with it still, and this is where I was last week, is he hasn't done anything outright heelish for me to think he's being disingenuous. Right. And that's what I find odd. If against Cameron Grimes, he was doing low blows and you know cheating throughout it it's like well you're full of shit but the two times we've met him he's actually just been saying things that well yeah we should be having right. an inclusive environment and then the use of the word triggered which is great but also it didn't like it just felt like he was plucking it's buzzwords buzzwords and together they didn't actually make much sense so it just it feels a bit weird me watching him going this guy who as i said hasn't really done anything heelish okay little arrogant saying more people are talking about me than they are roderick strong or stuff like that sure but i still just find it odd that he's going just want an inclusive place boo fuck you gacy it's like what <laughs> that that's where i i think i think there's a good idea there with it it just kind of needs to uh, be put together a little better. I think you've got a good performer. I think you've got something that is going to get under people's skin, which is great. Right. Um, but I need to see a bit more of the dick heel come out for this to work. So would you rather this guy say all these woke things and be acting like he's such an, a proper, nice guy who does want this safe space, inclusivity and all that, but then he's actually an asshole and, and beats up people. Exactly, because then, then you he's know lying. it's bullshit. Yeah, yeah, he's lying. Rather okay. than now, it's just a guy being like, hey, couldn't we make this place a bit better? Couldn't we like right. he hasn't a bit done of equality and a bit of a safe space? And yeah. then there's Grimes being like, fuck you, mate, last week. And the crowd are going, boo. And well, he should have called him he, him before he, yeah <laughs> that would have got some heat yeah like there's there's definitely uh this definitely can work and i think the performer is doing this well just needs a little bit of tinkering for me yeah we do a show called was next we review old nxt and we we're seeing the the like the trials and tribulations i guess you continue to see them of bray wyatt through his run there and it's like this guy on the indies joe gacy he does more of does more of a face paint horror kind of mm. guy I think this is the first step to eventual, like a long maybe story where he eventually goes psycho and turns into this, mm. this killer type character. But right now he is this, this woke gimmick that I now am like, yeah, I'm all, I want to see where you, we can go with it. If, if someone gets offended by it, like, okay, he hasn't done anything yet. But yeah, what I'm there, saying is nothing treading. to be offended by. But, like, right. now the issue is, like, <laughs> unfortunately, the, not, not to me, but unfortunately, he, this might offend people that that's why, oh, well, they're going to cancel this character. But you're totally right. He didn't do anything. He's not to, done anything. He hasn't done anything. Even Wade going, like, I don't particularly believe with every, <laughs> everything he says, but it does make you think, like, what don't you believe, Wade, that... 
You want a nice place to work? I believe <laughs> they spun a wheel and they ran, randomly selected, okay, well, this is popular. Like, why don't we make someone yeah. who, who here wants to do this or who can we give this to? Let's see if it works kind of thing. So it's literally the second week. But yeah, it's got a lot of people talking, a lot of people interested on both sides. So yeah, and, and I, I, I am very interested in, in seeing where this kind of goes. Um, I think it would make more sense if he I think was a bad guy. Also, the way you make this work more is um, okay. Something I'd compare it to would be right to censor. Back yeah, in two thousand, and the thing was, what made that work so well is they were targeting fan favorites like Godfather, Godfather Val Venus. The Dudley Boys, like all all the all the baby faces who did, like, edgy, risky, right. adult entertainment. That's where it worked, um, because then they got he they, they were booed because of that. Whereas he's like just saying, as a blanket statement, hey, let's be nice to each other. Right. Right. And and that's where he needs he needs his own like. I mean, who would the character be? Well, so sorry. Is he gonna? Is he gonna now? Joe Gacy gonna start his own faction or stable? Now turning other characters here in NXT to woke characters? Maybe. Like, what is he gonna Maybe. do? And like, if this was a kind of right to censor gimmick, but updated to 2021, this will absolutely work. And he's a full blown heel. But it's there's not that op- opposing character for him to really be complaining about. Right. Wow. This is great. They're gonna. They're gonna get. They're gonna get like some like psychology majors in here into show up in NXT to have. He should have like debates. Yeah. He should have like discussion panels. He shouldn't wrestle. Mm. He shouldn't wrestle last week. Looking back at like it now. you know what would be what would be great is if next week he has a word with Andre Chase and be like when you yelled bullshit backstage last week. Yeah. You really hurt um, Mackenzie Mitchell's feelings when she was trying to do an interview. Yeah. Um, it made it. It made it quite a toxic environment to yeah. be When you in. told Steve to shut up, yeah. uh, it was really mean. Steve, Steve wasn't happy about that, yeah. and he didn't feel safe, and he had to take a day. He had to take a day to himself. That, that would work. Yeah. But I, I don't know who he's talking about right now. Just everyone. I tell you what, we're going to talk about this more than the main event tonight. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I'm all in on Joe Gacy. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm all in on Joe Gacy here. Like... I, I want to see where this can go with this thing. I, yeah. I also, I'm a, part of me is like, please offend me. Mm. Like, please try it. It'd be great. Um, Cause I can't, it's really hard to offend me. <laughs> so, I, but I'm not a little but snowflake again, the, like the, you. <laughs> yeah. Again, the things that I find odd are like, and this was the thing with, like I found with the Muhammad Hassan character. Yeah. It's, Nothing he said particularly offended me, but then it's JR going, This is America, damn it, and stuff like that. Where you go, dude, he's just saying, Look, I'm an immigrant and I'm American too. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And that, yeah. I think Joe Gacy should say that NXT, you know, oh, we're, we're only six foot and under 30. What's going on with the body positivity? Yeah, and, exactly. <laughs> that would be great. Just like, what do you. What are other really top like that's what I'm saying. The reason is there's a ceiling because you can't you can't talk about um, like thing like all I'm thinking about is certain things that like a Jordan Peterson or like a Joe Rogan loves to talk about on their podcasts. And he once he crosses this line, like that's when they'll cancel him. So I think that's maybe where they're like, okay, well, well, don't let I you mean, talk th- about this or don't let you talk about that. I think the issue with and it's always been the case is WWE can't be really trusted. With these subjects. Exactly. It's, it's, if you look back when they go, oh, we're going to introduce, uh, uh, like the Billy and Chuck wedding. We're going to introduce these gay characters and, and do it respectfully. And there was a gay charity. I can't remember the name of the charity, but that were pretty supportive of WWE. And then they did the wedding. Yeah. And it's like, you can't be trusted with this stuff. And I think that's, that's the difference between sort of WWE, I find, and other forms of entertainment where yes an hbo drama with top writers and directors and actors i can trust you to handle maybe this sensitive subject uh this company that rips up a script five minutes before they go on air 
Yeah, I'm sorry. The like, issue is the issue is the character is all about this. Like that's what this character is. It's all about being woke. But the the treading here is like, well, then he's got to talk about Black Lives Matter. He's got to talk about anti-vax stuff. He he's got to talk about like LGBTQ community mm. stuff. Like he's got to talk about all these things that are. And I don't people. trust them with that. Not like, at I all. I feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> That's why they, they were like, that. he's cancelled. <laughs> yeah. Like, but he... also, this isn't Minority Report. Let's see how it plays out, you know? <laughs> <laughs> we can't go in a month's time. You're going to be in, like, tricky water, you Look, know? It's, water. it's September, but by the end of <laughs> December or the early January, we, we do a best and worst of show with post-wrestling talking and one of the this could be on either this show. could be on either best gimmick or worst gimmick of 2021 and uh, i guess we'll have to let it play out mm. but joe gacy but until uh, then i'll just continue crying on the right yeah, go cry in the corner you little right what what did they call you little woke boy little, on the right ironically on the right because you were on the right <laughs> and when you watch on the screen you're on the right i'm on the right yeah yeah damn i'm actually sat on the left but. yeah are you Physically, I'm in the middle somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) 